Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I'll be showing you how to configure S3 with your Node application when using the AWS SDK. And I'll be specifically talking about the issue I had, which is this error here, as you guys can see, invalid access key ID, the AWS access key ID provided does not exist in our records. And I spent a good amount of time online trying to figure this out with the solution as they suggested, and unfortunately it did not work. And so I'll be showing you quickly how I overcame the solution. And so as you can see here, I have a simple component that uploads to an S3 bucket, which is currently called connect test bucket. So I, I just upload a file here and it goes, it's supposed to go to an S3 bucket and it showed me that error initially. And what I did was to fix this error is the first thing you have to do is NPM install the latest version of the SDK. So I actually didn't run this app for about a month and my SDK was out of sync. So that's actually the main reason of my error, followed by another reason, which I'll talk about after NPM installing the AWS SDK. So we're just going to go ahead and do that real quick. So make sure you do this. Otherwise, you might have issues, which is the main cause of the issue I had. So we're just going to NPM install AWS SDK. And as you can see, that's done installing. Now, the next thing you want to do, and this is what many people suggest online, is to make sure the credentials you're using for your AWS configuration are correct. And what you want to do is the first thing you want to do is you want to go here to the this little tutorial they have on the AWS website. And if you're using a Mac, what it's telling you is you want to go to the file tilde.aws credentials and you want to input an AWS access key ID and you also want to input a AWS secret access key. And this is what enables the, the AWS SDK to make that connection and allow you to upload with this with these credentials. Now, if you're using a Windows, it's a little different. You just do this and you essentially do the same thing. You can also set these variables through the CLI, but I'm gonna show you how just to edit the file directly on my local Mac, but you can use something called AWS configure if you, do, if you have the AWS CLI installed. But in order to even get these keys in the first place, you have to generate these credentials because when you first create a, an account with Amazon AWS, you do not have these automatically. You have to go and create them. But to generate those credentials, let's just go and click sign into console. Now I'm already signed in, so it should take me to a screen where it shows me my user. You wanna click the top right here, click on security credentials. And we have a bunch of stuff here. Don't, don't uh, really worry about that. Let's just click access keys and secret, uh, access key. So access key and I think secret access key. And let's just create a new access key. And remember to keep this really secret. Don't show it to anyone. I'm going to delete it after this video. So you guys don't hack into my AWS bucket and send a bunch of nonsense and cost me potentially thousands of dollars. So you can download the key, which is suggested to do because it'll be the last time I think you could see the secret, uh, the secrets access key. So let's just do that. And we have that and we have, we can just show you guys the the key here, which is this. So I'm just going to go into that file I just talked about and insert that. So let's go to my terminal on the Mac. So we'll just go here. Now, some of you guys may not even have this file from the first place, so don't worry about it. You can just VI straight into the file or just create it. So VI is just um, an editor that I use. And we're just going to go into this file here, which is all we want. And currently right now for me, it's empty. So what we want to do is we want to insert this access key ID and secret access key. And let's see how the format of that is exactly. So I think it's, uh, let's go back. So this is the format we're going to use. Let's just copy all this and go back here. Let's insert that. And let's just delete all this other stuff. And yeah, you can use a different editor. You can use any editor you want to edit this file. So I'm just going to delete this stuff and just insert what the Amazon AWS has created for me. So let me just delete this, go back to here. Let's open this guy. I'm looking at another screen here to get these values. So Let's just go back to the terminal. So I'm just going to input these real quick. 
And then let's just save the file. And that should be all we need. So what we did was to remediate this was to install the latest version of the SDK and to input credentials from generated from Amazon, from our accounts. And let's see if that works now. So we have everything going. We have that. We have the latest version of, of AWS SDK. So let's go back to our application and see if this thing that we uploaded is going to work. So I'm just going to upload some random screenshot I have that I was doing something earlier. And let's see if that works. So it didn't work. So let's troubleshoot that. <laughs> Um, oh, my, my app's not even running. Nice. So I'm just going to run my application. Let's try this again now and let's see if it works. So it printed it. Now let's see. That's part of my code is just to print the file name. Let's see if it's in the bucket. We could see it is so perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and found a quick way to remediate that issue with AWS SDK using your Node application. Uh, I hope it saved you guys a good amount of time. If, if there was a video out there, that would have saved me a lot of time. But thankfully, I, I, I learned how to do it and I showed you guys. And, you know, this might not work in all the cases. So just be aware that you could have an edge case where you have other issues with your AWS configuration. And if you do, please feel free to reach out in the comments or to me personally and I'll try my best to get back to you. And thanks for watching the video. I look forward to having you guys watching the next one. Take care and ha have a good one, guys. Thank you.